So now we will see how to create activities in Primavera P6. So first of all, you need to know what you mean by activity. Activities are the fundamental work elements of a project. They are the lowest level of a work breakdown structure. So you can just go for enterprise and you can just go for projects. So here we have created one project before that I am just going to open. So once you open it will be having like activities. So here this yellow color, this green color all coming under WBS. For WBS you can just go for project WBS. And here you can able to create or modify the existing or uh, new WBS. So these are all the smallest subdivision of a project that directly concerns the project manager. So activities we can call it as like smallest subdivisions of any project that directly concerns uh, any project manager. You can able to divide activities into steps as well. So here we have steps tab in details. There you can able to add or add from template. That also we can do later. So an activities primary resource is typically responsible for managing and tracking the progress of any activity steps. So if any activity having some steps here, so the, the person responsible for that is like uh, here we can go for assigning the resources or you can go for general and you can just go for responsible manager. Uh, then that person is responsible for the activity steps. But, but the project manager is typically responsible for managing and tracking the progress of the overall activity in any project. So in activity you can able to define like activity ID and even you can go for naming it. You can able to see here you can able to go for activity ID and then you can able to name it and uh, this ID should be unique and you can able to identify and describe it easily in later stage of any project. Like even you can go for activity calendar. Here you have activity calendar. You can able to choose accordingly. And even you can go for activity start and end date. So that you can just go for status and here you can able to put the start, start date and something like that. And the person complete. So how much percentage it is completed. So everything you can able to put here. If you want to put any constraints, you can able to put constraints here. This we will see later. In general, we also have activity type. What type of activity it is. And person completion type. So if it is like duration or physical or units, we can specify. And we can able to go for relationships to any activity using this relationship tab. So there you can able to put predecessors and successors. And there you can able to go for some relations. So these things we will see later. And even you can just go for assigning resources. And then you can just uh, we can go for adding roles. So which enable you to identify skill requirement for staffing the activity, the particular activity. So you can go for notes and feedback. So here you have a feedback. Which are used to communicate with the resources working on an activity. So notebook you have feedback. So these things we can able to add to any kind of activity. Now we will see. So we will see like activity type. So first we have task dependent activity. Typically used to when the work needs to be accomplished in a given time frame regardless of the assigned resources availability. So it is like a used when it is like a given a time frame. So within the time frame if the activity needs to be completed then you should put task dependent. The activities resources are scheduled to work according to the activity. So the resources like uh, are scheduled to work according to the activity. So it depends on the activity calendar actually. 
so the resources will work according to the activity calendar if it is like a task dependent so the duration is determined by the assigned calendars work week so whatever the calendar you are assigning here so the duration of the activity will uh, depend so that is called task dependent activity and then you also have resource dependent so in resource dependent it is like typically used when multiple resources are assigned to the same activity and uh, the resources can work independently so the activities resource are scheduled according to the individual resource calendar so resource dependent in the sense it will uh, depend on the calendar of individual resources so in that case you can able to use resource dependent so duration is determined by the availability of the resources assigned to the work on the activity so it, the duration or something like that it always will be determined or uh, depend on resources and its calendars now we also going for level of effort so it is like typically used for ongoing task depend on other activity if any activity dependent on other activity then you can put like level of effort duration is determined by its predecessor or successor activities so the duration mainly depends on the relationship or the predecessors or successors in that particular activity so clerical work security guard meetings and project management task are the examples so we can't able to put any constraints over level of effort activity so if it is like a level of effort activity we can't able to put any constraint for example if i am just going to go for status here the constraints it is like a, we can't able to input anything because it is like a level of effort activity and then we also have start milestone so typically used to mark the beginning of a phase or to communicate project deliverables so if it is like a starting of the project you can put start milestone and uh, if you are putting uh, start milestone then the activity will be having zero duration and it only has a start date so you can able to see in status so it is like a zero duration it will be having only start date so zero d zero days and then it is starting on 1st february so we can able to assign constraints so constraint is available and we can able to assign expenses so expenses or work products and documents but we can't able to assign resources or roles to this activity so if you are going for resource then it is like a not available because it is like a start milestone activity now i am just going for finish milestone so typically used to mark the end of a phase or to communicate project deliverable if you want to mention the project end then you can use finish milestone and it is also having like zero duration and it only have finish date like in start milestone it only has start date in finish milestone it only has finish date so we can assign constraints so it is available expenses and uh, uh, work documents also we can able to assign to the finish milestone activity uh, but we can't able to assign resources so it is like unavailable as it is like a finish milestone activity now i am just going back to general i am just going to select wbs summary so it it is like a typically used to summarize at wbs level if you want any summarization needed then you can go for wbs summary activity like uh, the wbs summary activity comprises a group of activities that share a common wbs level so it will be like uh, comprising a group of activity that share a common wbs level so in uh, particular wbs level it is like having group of activities and we can't able to assign any constraints over here so you can able to go and see in status we can't able to do any constraint like in level of effort activity so these are all the like activity type we do have in primavera p6 so you can able to see all those 
here. But by default, any activity will be like a task dependent. 